Hi, I'm Raven, and this is a tutorial on the basics of Magic Chess. Before we begin, hit the like button if you want me to make more videos like this. Comment below for any suggestions or a particular build or guide that you want me to create. And don't forget to click the subscribe button, then ring the bell icon to be notified for future videos. Now let's begin. What is Magic Chess? Magic Chess is an arcade game in the massively popular Mobile Legends Bang Bang by Moonsan. It is based on the groundbreaking custom game by Lauren Lee in Dota 2. It is an auto battle deck building board game. Since each round is an auto battle, you can only control your team composition and your board positioning, which is also a factor that is usually overlooked. As of recording, Moonsan has just released the very first official season of Magic Chess, The Frozen Pioneers. Looking at things, Magic Chess is here to stay. Let's have a quick overview of the game rules. The rules are summarized into four items. First, all players hire heroes from a common hero pool and build your team. Next, each hero has a fixed number of cards in the hero pool. The higher the quality, the lesser number of cards are in the hero pool. That means the more players hiring the same hero, the lesser chance it will appear in your roles. Third, the game is round based. The player either fights creeps or another player. Then, the last player standing is the winner. A game is subdivided into stages. A fate box is open to command the stage. As you can see here, all players can select from 11 mystery packs at the same time. Each pack contains 3 random heroes. Each stage has several battle rounds and a creep round. In the first stage, you will encounter a creep round first. In these rounds, you can loot items by killing the monsters of the round. You will also present it with 3 items but can only choose one to aid you in the next round. The next rounds are the battle rounds. At the beginning of each battle round, the shop will auto-reset once and the little commander gets 2 XP. You will have 20 seconds to hire heroes from the shop. You can also reroll to replace the shop with 5 random heroes. Upon a successful defense, you will immediately get 1 gold. When the battle ends, the little commander takes damage according to the remaining number of heroes and their star levels. If your health is reduced to 0, you are eliminated from the game. When a battle round is over, you will get basic rewards plus the interest plus the winning or losing streak bonus. Starting from the next stage, the Fate Box round is different from the Fate Box you have encountered earlier. In this Fate Box round, players can select from 11 options, a combination of items or a specific hero. The player with the lowest remaining HP picks first. Each player is represented by their little commanders. In each game, you start with a level 3 little commander. You will reach the next level if you acquire enough XP. Players can use gold to buy each remaining XP to proceed to the next level. Each little commander has 3 unique skills. You can only choose one of 3 skills. When you unlock a little commander, you will immediately unlock the first skill. You can unlock the other skills by either using the little commander in more battles or by purchasing the skin for it. You can deploy heroes by dragging the hero to an unoccupied space on the side of your board. The number of heroes you can deploy is equal to your level. You can deploy an additional hero if you have the necessary item that can only be acquired from the fate box. The quality of heroes that you draw is also determined by your level. The higher your level, it will unlock heroes of better quality. When you hire the same 3 1 star hero, it will automatically upgrade to 2 stars. The hero now has a higher HP and damage. If you have 3 2 star of the same hero, then it will be upgraded to 3 stars, which is the highest possible upgrade. You can sell heroes that will no longer fit your team by either clicking on the hero and clicking on the cell icon or by dragging the hero to the cell icon in the lower right of the screen. Aside from the one gold that you will receive on a successful defense, you will also receive guaranteed gold which increases every stage and a winning or losing streak reward. You can also earn additional gold through interest. 
you'll receive 2 gold for every 10 unspent gold with a maximum of 4 gold of interest. A little indicator in the top right corner will remind you about the interest. Getting items from creep rounds and fate boxes will boost the capability of a hero. When you pick an item, the game usually equips it to the recommended hero, but you can always go to the equipment tab and drag and drop the item. Another method is go to the hero and click on its inventory and select the item that you want to equip. Here are the items that you can acquire throughout the game. You may notice items that has a synergy emblem. These are special items that will give an additional faction or role to the equipped hero. Acquiring good items and hiring as many 3-star heroes is not enough to win a game. One of the biggest aspects of the game that will boost your team big time is unlocking synergies. To unlock a synergy, you must hire unique heroes that has the same faction or role. There are 11 factions and 9 roles in the game. As an example, let's look at the details of the Western Desert synergy. It says, and different allied Western Desert heroes are required to activate the effect. Take note that these are unique allies. Let's say you have two Esmeraldas. They will only count as one Western Desert ally. You can see numbers inside the brackets. You have two, four, and six. That means if you have two unique Western Desert heroes, both those heroes will have a 20% dodge chance. Now, if you have four unique Western Desert heroes, they will now have a 40% dodge chance. And if you have 6, they will have a 60% dodge chance. It is possible to have multiple synergies in the game. You can browse through the synergies table and make your own combinations. Or you can watch my future videos because I will feature effective synergy combinations. And those are the basics of Magic Chess. Uh, it is best to play and experience the fun firsthand. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it will help you on your way to Mythic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Raven and see you next time in my next video.